Hello everyone! In this video, we will learn how to solve quadratic equations by factoring. Now to do this, let's use the X method. In the X method, quadratic equation should be written in the standard form AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. Now writing this in the X pattern at the upper part should be the product of A and C. At the lower part should be the value for B. At the sides should be the factors F1 and F2 written in the form F1 over A and F2 over A. Now take note, when F1 and F2 are added, it should equal to B. And when they are multiplied, it should equal to AC. So basically, F1 and F2 are factors of AC. Now let's have an example. In this case, the value for A is 1. The value for B is 7, and the value for C is 12. Now, writing this in the X pattern, at the upper part, should be the product of 1 and 12, which is 12. At the lower part, should be the value for B, which is 7. Now, take note, considering the factors of 12, it could be 1 times 12, 2 times 6, or 3 times 4. In this case, we will consider 3 and 4. Why? Because when 3 and 4 are added, the result is 7. Now, writing 3 and 4 in the pattern F1 over A, we will have 3 over 1 because the value for A is 1. At the other side, would be 4 over 1 or simply 4. Now, writing this in binomial form, we will have x plus 3 and x plus 4 equals 0. Now, solving for the roots, x plus v equals 0, subtract 3 to both sides. So the first value for x will be 0 minus 3 or it's negative 3. While the other side, x plus 4 equals 0, subtract 4 to both sides. So therefore, the second value for x will be negative 4. So therefore, the roots for x squared plus 7x plus 12 equals 0 are negative 3 and negative 4. Another example. In this case, the value for A is 1, the value for B is 3, and the value for C is negative 18. Now, writing this in the X pattern at the upper part will be the product of 1 times negative 18, which is negative 18. At the lower part will be the value for 3. Now, considering the factors of negative 18, it could be negative 1 and 18, negative 2 and 9, and negative 3 and 6. Now, in this case, we will consider negative 3 and 6. Why? Because when negative 3 added by 6, the result is 3. Now, writing this in the pattern F1 over A, we will have negative 3 over 1 or negative 3. And the other one would be 6 over 1 or simply 6. Now, write this in binomial form. We will simply have x minus 3 times x plus 6 equals 0. Now, solving for the values for x, add 3 to both sides to eliminate negative 3. So, the first value for x will be 0 plus 3 or simply 3. At the other side, x plus 6 equals 0. Subtract 6 to both sides, so therefore, the second value for x will be 0 minus 6, or it's negative 6. So therefore, the roots for x squared plus 3x minus 18 equals 0, or 3 and negative 6. Now, what if the value for a is no longer 1? How are you going to do it? Now, let's have the next example. In this case, the value for a is 2. The value for B is 3, and the value for C is negative 2. Now, writing this in the X pattern, at the upper part, will be the product of 4 times negative 2, or it's negative 4. At the lower part, will be the value for B, which is 3. Now, considering the factors of negative 4, it could be negative 1 and 4, or it could be negative 2 and 2. In this case, we will consider negative 1 and 4. Why? Because negative 1 
plus 4, the result is positive 3. Now, writing this in the pattern F1 over A, we will have negative 1 over 2 because the value for A is 2. Well, the other one will be 4 over 2, or we can still simplify this to 2. Now, writing this in the binomial form, we will simply flip this one. So, with this, we will have 2x minus 1 times x plus 2 equals 0. Now, eliminate 1 by adding 1 to both sides. So, we will have 2x equals 1. Now, eliminate 2 by subtracting both sides by 2. So, the first value for x will be 1 half. The other one, x plus 2 equals 0, subtract 2 to both sides. So, therefore, the second value for x will be 0 minus 2 or it is negative 2. So, therefore, the roots for 2x squared plus 3x minus 2 equals 0 or 1 half a negative 2. Now, take note. Factoring quadratic equations, it is only applicable when the factors or the roots are real numbers. Now, what if the values for x are not real numbers? Can factoring still be used? Now, we will answer this with our next video. Thank you.